Hi guys, Darren Monster here, back with another Creator Spotlight in Geometry Dash. 2.2 will be out soon, that's going to be epic, but for now, I'm going to be continuing this series because it's really fun for me, and I hope you guys enjoy too. Today, we're doing Glitter Shroom 43. Last time we did the real Zelink, I think it was, and he had some uh, <clears throat> levels, and then... Uh, uh, m then there's Glitter Shroom 43 who has 135 creator points, which is a lot. But, um, but yeah, we're still, we're still above 100 here by far. So let's get started. The first level Stereo Chrome. I thought we'd start off the first level of the Creator Spotlight with the first song of the game, which is Stereo Madness. So here it is. Okay, so far the orange and black, not bad. I'm liking the, the trend of colors here. Obviously, it's rated hard, so it's going to be more difficult than Stereo Madness. Okay, suddenly, mini UFO duel. All right. Uh, I don't know if I can deal with that, but uh, we did, so that's good. Um, okay, now there's a nice ship section. That's fun. Awesome. So far, I'm liking this. Nice gameplay. I mean, it's not easy, but it's it's, it's still fun, you know? I guess that's what import, what's, what's important. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, just basically jumping. Okay, now there's a triple spike and another one. Two triple, yeah, you really like your triple. Oh gosh, okay. How do you do that? You just have to, like go down like super early. Like I think you have to go down like the first possible time you can. Well, that'll be uh, difficult to do, but I hope we can do it. I think this should have been rated like harder, but still, I think five stars is probably like pretty close to the rating as well. Either five or six stars, but still, this doesn't mean it's still easy because it's rated hard. So it's still hard. Okay, it's just not harder. Okay, here we go. Holy crap. Is that it? Or is that more difficult stuff? Okay. Okay, now you got a ship section. Interesting. Oh, gosh. Go up, go up, go down, go down. That was scary. Yes, we did it. Uh, also, there's a trend I've noticed. Glitter Shroom 43 really likes putting uh, blue jump rings as the last thing you touch. Or like use in um, in the levels, so like right before the ending screen, which is pretty cool because you float up and then you just go into the ending anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, awesome. That was a really good level. I like that. Now we, next up we have Chaos Fantasy. I try to pick more of the recent levels because Glitter Room has a lot of levels. A lot of them I've already beaten as well, but I just wanted to pick the more recent levels. So uh, I like that there was a Stereo Madness one to start off with, but now we're gonna do more like of like the 1.9, 2.0, uh, 2.1 levels. So I don't even know if there are any 2.1 levels. So yeah, let's do this. I think Glitter Shroom quit either in 2.0 or in 1.9, I'm not sure. But Glitter Shroom had a lot of really good remakes as well, like her like her his or her earliest um like rated levels were uh all like really cool like remakes of the first like couple levels in the game. Like Stereo Madness, Back on Track, Color Guys, you know the blah blah blah. <laughs> so far I'm liking this. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Also, Glitter Stream has crazily good gameplay. Sometimes there's a fake or two, but that's just because it is 1.9 or earlier, and so that does make sense. It's acceptable, you know? It's, but at least they're not filled, because it's not acceptable when, like, when, like a, a level that's rated hard is filled with so many fakes. But these, these levels are really cool, and they have crazily fun gameplay. Like, it's just really smooth. It might not be in sync, but it's still really, like, smooth. It's in sync enough that it, it works. I don't know if I like this, like, swamp green with the purple, though. I don't know about that color that much. That's not what I would pick for that part. But okay. Okay, you gotta jump off of that. I see. It's probably where it failed last time. 77%. Yeah, all these levels I have played before, but it was a really long time ago. So, I've forgotten literally all of them. Except for Stereo Chrome. I do remember that one a bit. But besides that, I think these should all be some, like, fresh experiences for me. Yeah, I think Glitter Shroom is either definitely getting a ten, 9 or a 10 on gameplay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there'll be much worse levels to come, but, like, we'll see. So far, I definitely give it a, the gameplay a 9 or a 10. Okay, I think we're coming up back on this part. Jump! Awesome. Oh, now we got some cool, like, lighting effects with, like, some laser sort of things. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, and it's a collab with Viprin! Oh, even fancier. Dang. Okay. Collab with v collaboration. Okay, yeah, you know what it means. And Viprin. Awesome. Okay, cool. That was a really fun level. Now we have Chilled, which is normal. And I have an, a pretty high fail on this, so I'm a little worried, but we'll see. 
Okay, it looks like it's a bit of like a slower, sadder level we got going on here. All the levels, all of Glitter Streams levels are like really smooth. That's what I like about them. No, 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 they're not smooth, they're crisp. They're actually crisp, they're not smooth at all. They're like crisp, but they're not messy. But they're just like really clean. Not smooth, not like really smooth, but they're not, because like they don't like flow together, but like, they just work together so well, and they're just like solid hard like edges. As if it's like a block, you know? It's, it, they look very well like thought out and crafted. Also, what? Uh, why did my did my cube just like little it did a little bounce oh i think i must have hit like the barely edge of that slope and then that booped me up a little bit and then i couldn't jump again and then i went right into those spikes it's pretty hard for a normal level though like this ship section there's like some straight flies and stuff it's not easy oh i did it again and again okay well i think we survived that time though you just gotta like sort of hold a bit Bit of a longer press, not a full hold, but like a bit of a, okay, I did it again. What the heck is wrong with those parts? I said it was all crisp, it's not so, oh, okay, yeah. I feel like that's where I must have died last time. Yep, 89% because there's off-screen jump orbs, but we can deal with that. Hopefully there aren't any fakes in that section, because if there are, I'm definitely gonna die there again. Okay, wow, we, there was a lot of off-screen jump orbs there. But we did it, okay? That was a really fun level, actually. Besides, like, those couple off-screen jumps and those weird, like, block things. That was really, that was really fun level. I liked that a lot. All these levels are great so far. Serenade of Storms. Okay. Okay. I see some more, like, thought put into, like, the, the, um, obstacles I need to avoid here. Like, these, like, stick spike things. Oh, it's like a sunset level, sort of. Okay. I like the structures. They're pretty cool. Okay, gotta jump off of that one, I see. I don't know if I like, oh, Glitterstream really likes the swamp color, and I don't. Oh my god, okay, do you have to jump off of that, or what? I think so. Yeah, these this, these structures are a little weird. The first part's fine, and then after that, they get weird. So what happened there? I'm gonna go into practice mode for this one. I don't know what to do there. Now we get a little bit more energetic song. I mean, it's something, right? Okay, so there's a pretty difficult part at the end with like a UFO or something. Oh geez, but like, besides, oh I did it again. The weird look, like, like where the ship locks in place. Oh well, yeah. There's a, there's a pretty difficult, pretty tight section with the UFO at the end. So like at literally like 95%. So let's hope I don't fail there. Knowing my luck, I probably will. But doesn't mean we can't hope that I don't. You know. Oh I did it. Okay. Um. Yeah, that part's pretty weird. I must say. New record though. Progress has been made. Okay, we made it. We made it to the much easier part. That doesn't mean it's easy, though. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't need to spam that much yet. So there's a pretty intense mini wave section coming up. I doubt I'll fail there, but still. Gotta concentrate. That was close. So is that. Okay, we've made that part. Now there's some weird parts here. So you gotta jump over these barely hidden spikes and then jump over that and there's more spikes there. And then, okay. Progress is being made. Here's the scary part. Barely survived that. Oh my God, that was so close. Like I swear my UFO touched those saw blades or those gears or whatever you want to call them okay that was pretty cool that, that was a cool level i mean it was cool but like whoo that was more difficult than all the other ones so far next up we have obsolete sky is this song actually playing i think it is there we go. now it's playing it's pretty quiet it starts out pretty quietly okay so this level starts out pretty fast i mean looks good I feel this is definitely 1.9 now, and they're slow, so it has to be at least 1.8. Okay, pretty cool so far. Oh, geez, I didn't even see those, but glad I tapped. Okay, that wasn't too bad. A little weird, but it's a little confusing, but it's fine. Okay, now you can't touch the ceiling or bottom there, which is pretty intense, but 
We did it. Whoa, this part looks cool. Okay, I feel like this is now... Holy crap. Okay, um, I don't know what to say about that part. I, I, I feel like what I need to say about that part is practice mode. That's what I have to say about that. One, two, three. Okay, wait, I think I've got the, I think I've got the solution here. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you gotta wait in between the, um, the four and the five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's try it just one more time, three times in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, I'm ready for this level. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a weird part at the end. I'll explain it when we get there, because it's really not nothing to be worried about. It's just a little confusing, that's all. Um, okay, so the one thing I do have to watch out for now is that dual part. That's going to be scary, but I think, I think we can do this. I think this is definitely a manageable level. Seems easier than the previous one, actually, if I'm being honest. One, two, three, four, five, six. That almost did not work. Glad it did. Okay, we've got the next stage of the level here. This level looks really cool. It's very shiny. It's very glittery. I mean, it is glitter shroom, so yeah, it's perfect. It's a really, really, really good level. I'm really enjoying it. It's awesome so far. Sort of reminds me of Burku, the other creator. Hope we'll get to do a creator spot on him one day. I really do. He has some great, great, really fun levels. But we're talking about glitter shroom here. Okay, this part's a little scary. Okay, yeah, these are fake. These crystals. Yeah, that scared me. But these are real. These are very real crystals. And this, that letter, it's very real. As you can see, I'm sliding on it. And then there's a little troll section at the end here. Some extra saw blades to avoid. And then we've done it. There we go. Narrated, I narrated my way to the end. Awesome. Okay, that was a really fun level. Now we got Land Shark Park, which rhymes. It has an F777 song, so copyright but whatever <laughs> okay do you have to jump there I think you do maybe not I think you have to just jump earlier so that you don't fall into the saw blade yeah just jump earlier so far this level is looking pretty cool oh dude this looks epic and you got to avoid the mouths of those monsters because there's saw blades in them they're invisible but they fade in and out so you can sort of see them at the edge of the screen so far, this is really epic. Whoa, this is so cool. This is actually amazing. Oh, okay, and that was just bad wave skill by me. Ignore that, and then I'll go back to wowing and awing at the level. Ooing and awing at the level. Once I get back to that, uh, that's this is awkward. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Let's try not to just fly up into one of the sides of doom and death. If you know what I mean, death and destruction. Oh, whoa, we've got some rainbow spikes. This look, these look epic as well. Okay, we're switching. Okay, what happened there? I don't know, but something happened, and I didn't die to it. Oh, and then I gotta, I gotta do a double switch there. Okay, I see. I'll try it one more time this, and if, the, if I die again at that part, then I want to do practice mode. But I don't really think I need it yet. I did it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Holy crap. All right. Jeez. Okay. I think I got I think I can do this. This one's definitely just an intense level that requires skill. Like I don't really think practicing would help me at all because I already know what to do. It's just the process of actually doing that is what's important right now. I like I really like the like the sort of like um relaxed rainbow style about this level. Like it's very subtle. Like it's not like not everything is like overused rainbows. It's just like, oh, this is a rainbow level. And you wouldn't expect that from the beginning. But then once you get in, you see that the colors are changing and like the pattern of the rainbow. And then it goes into like full rainbow mode when you get those rainbow spikes. And like, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely pretty cool. No, oh my gosh, that's, that part's so difficult. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, that's a really tight ship section. Okay, wish me luck. Let's hope I can do this. I'm getting like a couple percent for like three, five, three to five percent farther every time I attempt this, which is a good thing. I mean, at least I'm making progress, but it's really slow progress. I think I did it. Oh my gosh. You see that ending wave? Oh my God. The, like the three triple speed wave that just like shot into oblivion. 
Holy crap. Okay, that was a cool level, but oh, okay, yeah. So Glitter Shroom 43 has made three levels called Skyfall. The first the first two aren't really that important. We don't need we don't need those. Ha. Huh? So we'll just do this third one. Because the third one I thought was really cool and I wanted to save it for a video, so let's do this one now. Uh, do you see, like if you look at the things, you can see like like the, the these like light light pillar things. They're not actually light, they're waterfalls. And like you can see like them spilling off the edges of the platforms, which is so so cool. That's like the coolest tut detail I've seen like in like a like a 1.9 level. So it yeah, it's really cool. And glitter shroom really likes using these like glitter stars, which makes sense because it's glitter shroom. But like still, and I've never seen any mushrooms in the levels, so I don't know about that. But we'll see. Like, yeah, so you see the water filtering off the edges of the platforms? It gives it sort of like an ancient temple vibe, but also like a nat natural nature vibe at like nighttime, like glowing like crystal water or something. It's really cool. It really adds a ton of theme to the level. So I'm definitely going to give some pluses to Glitter Shroom for um, decoration for that one. That's awesome. And this part reminds me of Club Step. I mean, Clutter Funk. What, where did Club Step come from? Definitely Clutter Funk. It's like the tight quarter with like the black blocks designs and the like with the white glowing edges that just make it feel like a little more claustrophobic it's, it's a cool kind of claustrophobic it's not the bad kind okay, it's coming up on this weird part that i died at last time okay i'm guessing these things kill you just i have a feeling maybe not though maybe i'm wrong but I have a feeling that they do kill you. I feel like there's just like um, saw blades behind those. Yeah, there is. I see. If you look closely, there are saw blades behind them. Okay, I'm glad I didn't test out my theory. So that's nice. Okay, cool. Awesome. That was a really fun level. I really like that. All right, Captain John by Glitter Shroom 43. Who else would it be? That rhymes. So, probably a lot of you people have seen this level, or played this level before, if you have Geometry Dash. It's in one of the map packs. It's in one of the main map packs. So, yeah. This level is definitely pretty well known. And it's not an easy level at all. If it was, then it wouldn't be in the map packs, am I right? Maybe we can beat it on this, on this, uh, in this video today. That would be great. That would be crazy if I could. Because I haven't beaten this. This I've been attempting this level for a long time. I have not been able to do it. Because of this part. No, not this part. What am I talking about? This part's not even that bad. It's this part. Yeah. Doing pretty well, though, so far. We're actually going to beat it. <laughs> Lol. Wow, I actually beat it. First attempt on the video, and I've never been able to do this before. What are the chances? That was great. That was, yeah, I beat it. Okay, wow. So, yeah, that was all the levels we have for today. Go check out Glitter Shroom. Glitter Shroom has lots of cool levels. Let's actually, what we usually do, we play the most recent level you've made. So, this is the most recent level. Is this 2.1? No, it's, I don't think it is. I think this is, yeah, this is definitely still 2.0. It might be 2.1. I might be wrong. But this definitely looks like... This definitely looks like 2.0 so far. Okay, wow, that's a cool, cool demon as well. Okay, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And the next, let's see what, who, who's up next. Who do you think is up next? Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're down to 10th. That was the 10th person. Now we're up to Gelt. So we'll see what Gelt has to offer us. Lots of levels, apparently. Look at this. Um, yeah, okay, so I'll play with Gelt's levels next time. I will see all of you dudes in the next video. Bye!